black cohosh is often used to help with symptoms of menopause, like hot flashes. It's important to be cautious with herbal supplements, as some products may have harmful additives. Be sure to check with your pharmacist for more information about the specific brand you're using. Keep in mind that the FDA has not reviewed black cohosh for safety or effectiveness, so it's best to consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more guidance. As for the daily dosage, it's recommended to take 20 to 40 mg of black cohosh extract once or twice a day. It's best to take black cohosh with food to help prevent stomach upset. When taking black cohosh, it is important to follow the directions on the product package and take it as directed. It should not be used for more than six months. If your condition persists or worsens, or if you suspect a serious medical issue, seek medical assistance immediately. Some common side effects of black cohosh may include headache, stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, weight gain, vaginal spotting slash bleeding, and dizziness. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to contact your doctor. Serious side effects may include muscle pain slash weakness and very rarely, liver disease. If you experience symptoms of liver injury such as nausea, loss of appetite, unusual tiredness, stomach slash abdominal pain, pale stools, dark urine, or yellowing of the eyes slash skin, stop taking black cohosh and consult your doctor immediately. In the rare event of a serious allergic reaction, seek medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you experience any other effects not listed here, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Always consult with your doctor before taking any medication or supplement. Before taking black cohosh, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to salicylates, which are found in this product. It may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues. If you have hormone-sensitive cancer, a high risk of breast cancer, clotting problems, heart problems, high blood pressure, liver problems, or issues with your uterus, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using black cohosh. Black cohosh may make you feel dizzy, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you know how this product affects you. Limit your alcohol intake and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. If you're using a liquid preparation of black cohosh, be aware that it may contain sugar and or alcohol, so it's important to use caution if you have diabetes, alcohol dependence, or liver disease. Make sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely. Before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. It's not recommended to use black cohosh during pregnancy, as it may cause premature labor. If you are breastfeeding, it is not recommended to use this product. Be sure to consult your doctor before using black cohosh. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking black cohosh. Make sure to keep a list of all the medications and products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some drugs that may interact with black cohosh include cisplatin and warfarin. Additionally, if you're taking low-dose aspirin for heart attack or stroke prevention, it's important to continue unless your doctor advises otherwise. Always consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details regarding any potential interactions. If someone has taken too much black cohosh and has serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, call 911. Otherwise, call a poison control center right away. U.S. residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include slow heartbeat, vision problems, severe dizziness, increased sweating, seizure. If you are taking black cohosh, it's important to inform your doctor. They may want to monitor your liver function through tests to make sure there are no side effects. Make sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments and consult with your doctor for more information. When choosing a black cohosh product, be sure to read the labeling carefully. Some products may contain a combination of black cohosh and blue cohosh, which has different effects and purposes. As for the benefits of black cohosh, it is commonly used to help with symptoms of menopause, such as hot flashes and night sweats. 
the typical daily dosage ranges from 20 to 40 mg of a standardized extract. It's best to take black cohosh with food to help with absorption. Always consult with your doctor before starting any new medication or supplement. If you forget to take a dose of black cohosh, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing black cohosh, make sure to follow the storage information on the package. If you have any questions about how to store it, you can ask your pharmacist for guidance. It's important to keep all medications and herbal products out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of black cohosh, don't flush it down the toilet or pour it into the drain unless you've been specifically instructed to do so. Instead, make sure to properly dispose of the product when it's expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.